Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be looking at the Sha, Sure, Sure. If you know how it's pronounced, please write it phonetically for me in the comments down below because I've done one of these videos before for one of their products and even then I couldn't work out how it's pronounced. Uh, gluten free salty, salty. Again, if you know how that's pronounced, that one there, salty, salty. Uh, little biscuits. Now, I've been told these are a lot like the Ritz crackers that you're able to get, and that apparently they are very, very good. So, um, we will have a look and we will see. Now, you can see down there it says gluten free, wheat free, and lactose free. So, we turn it around. Um, so the right side. Yep, we've got to go to the back of the pack. And you can see just underneath the sticker that you can use to reseal it, it's got a list of ingredients. So the only thing that's really got in there to be concerned about is uh, soya and may contain traces of lupine. I don't quite know what lupine is. So if you know, leave us a comment down below. It then goes into the nutritional info, which I'm not going to go through because I don't know if you're like me, but where it's written in lots of different languages I just tend to skip over things um, rather than try to work out which part the English is in you see see because if you look at this one it's like um, it's grassy grass ass fat fat vetan feet and I just oh, yeah it's too confusing for me I'm a man right um, so there we go it's got some logos on there different stuff. Each pack contains 175 grams and so yeah it says it's a new recipe and an amazing taste. So let's crack them open and we'll have a look and see what they're like. Okay first thing, good thing, that pack was very easy to open. There was no issues opening that. Looking inside, you can also see there are a couple of broken biscuits, but most of them are intact, which is also a good thing to see. Let's just put a few out, I don't want too many. No, no. But then when you look at it like that, there's a few more in there that are broken. Now, I'm not going to put that down to anything because I've had them in storage in the cupboard. So let's just leave them stood there for a second. So you can see each biscuit, that's about two and a half and like centimetres across. So. They're a little bit smaller than the standard Ritz, I would say, but they feel they feel slightly brittle. They break apart nice and easily. A couple of crumbs fall off them, not a huge amount. Right, I'll just give that little piece a try. Yep, yeah, I would say they taste like the Ritz crackers. Um, certainly got the same kind of taste to them. They could do with um, having some cream cheese smeared over the top of them. But yeah, I've got that little cheesy taste to them. Little salty taste. Um, they're quite nice, they're perfectly edible. You can give them to somebody who doesn't um, even know that they're gluten free and they probably wouldn't even realise. So yeah, they're quite nice. They do quite well. They can stay in the cupboard as a snack. And I would give them uh, 7 out of 10 I think yeah they're quite nice so yeah please like please comment please subscribe and we'll make more videos like this and we're now on Instagram as well go and have a look over there UK Wheat Free and until the next video bye bye thank you for watching this video if you click the little round icon that's just appeared on your screen now you can be subscribed to our channel also YouTube has chucked up another one of our random videos that we hope you enjoy watching. Many thanks.